Next problem is construct a Mori machine that takes set of all strings over the input alphabet A B as input and prints one as output for every occurrence of the substring B A A. So occurrence of substring means you need to draw the deterministic automata which ends with the string B A A. Okay, so whenever we are seeing B A A, it will produce a output to one. So our input symbols already given A B and our output symbols. 0 1 whenever we are seeing the substring b a a it will produce as output 1 okay so if if the problem is asked for if the problem is about finding the number of occurrences of a particular substring you need to draw the automata for uh, accepting the set of all strings ending with the, that particular substring so how to draw the automata for this one so q note starting state then b Q1, A, Q3, B, A, A. Now draw all the possibilities. Suppose I am putting an A here. We need to show the input symbols on each and every state. Suppose I am putting an A. It will not affect because A, B, A, A. Anyway, it will end with A. a. So we show the, this state is complete because we show the transition on both A and B, both input symbols. Then if I am putting a B here, that, that will also be no problem. It will end with B A. Okay. Then from here, so this state is complete. This state, we show the transition on A only. What about B? If I am putting a B here, it will end with B A. It should end with B A. So whenever I am seeing a B from Q2, it should wait for a A A. So B, B, whenever we are reaching state Q2, Q2, B, A, A. Okay, we, so we show the transition on Q2. And what about Q3? We need to show the transition on both input symbol A and B. If I am seeing a A, it need to wait for, if I am seeing A, it should end with B, A, A. If I am seeing A, it should wait for B, A, A. So whenever I am seeing A, it should wait for B, A, A. Now what about B? If I am seeing a B, if I am seeing a B, it should wait for A A. If I am seeing a B, it should wait for A. So this is our automata. So where we need to put 1, whenever we are seeing the substring B A A, it will output 1. So I already told you in the previous video, you need to, whenever we are reaching Q3, then only we are seeing the substring B A A. So, we can put 1 here, remaining state. You can put the output 0. Suppose our input, example, suppose our input is A, B, A, B, A, A. Okay. So, A means we are in, initially we are in Q0. Q0 while seeing A, it is moving to state Q0. Okay. Q0 while seeing B, it is moving to while seeing B, it is moving to state Q1. Then Q1, while seeing A, it is moving to Q2. Q1, while seeing A, it is moving to Q2. Q2, while seeing B, it is moving to Q1. Q2, while seeing B, it is moving to Q1. A, B, A, B, next is A, A. Q1, while seeing A, it is moving to Q2. Q2, while seeing A, it is moving to Q3. So our input string is A, B, A, B, A, 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 B, A, B, A, A. So from Q0, what will be the output? The machine will produce 0. Q0, it will produce a 0. Q1 output is 0. Q2 output is 1. Sorry, Q2 output is also 0. Q1 0, Q2 0. Q3 only outputs 1. So it produces only 1. One ones, okay, because it consists of only single B A. Okay, so in this case, you can design the machine. Whenever a problem is asking about to find the number of occurrences of a particular substring, you need to draw the deterministic automata, then ending with that particular substring, then at the last state you can output one, remaining state you can output zero. Okay. Next problem is construct a movie machine that takes set of all strings over A, B and produces A as output if input end with 1. If, if we are seeing the input 1, 0, 
ओके इट विल प्रोड्यूस ए इफ द इनपुट एंड्स विथ वन वन इट विल प्रोड्यूस बी अदरवाइज इट विल प्रोड्यूस सी ओके सो अवर औुट आलफोबेट्स आर् कैपिटल ए कैपिटल बी एंड कैपिटल सी इनपुट आलफोबेट ए सिंग स्मा लैटर ए स्मा लैटर बी ओके सो वी नीड टू ड्रॉ द ऑटोमेट विच एंड्स विथ वन सीरो If it is ending with one zero, it will produces A. The output will be A. If it end with one one, it will output B, and otherwise it will output C. So Q note starting state. We are drawing the uh, one zero. Skeleton for one zero. Q one zero. Whenever we are seeing the input uh, string ending with one zero, it will produce us the output Y. Output Y. Then what about one one? This is only one starting state will be there. Okay. So Q one, Q zero. On seeing input one, Q one. From Q one, if we are seeing the input symbol one, that is one one case, it will produce us the output B. Otherwise, in all other case, it will output C. One zero. At that time, we are reaching state Q two. It will output A. So I put A here. One one. It will output B. Ending with one one. Otherwise, it will output C. Okay. Now complete the DFA. So here we show the transition of one. Transition one. We need to show the transition about zero. If I am putting a self flow for zero here, it will not affect zero zero one zero. It will also end with Uh, one zero zero one one. It will also end with one one. Okay, so one zero both input symbol. We show the transition on both input symbol. So this state complete. What about this state? This state also complete. We show the transition on zero and we show the transition on one. And here from Q two. Whenever we are seeing a one, it should wait for a zero. Okay, because ending with one zero case. Whenever I am seeing a one, it will and It will wait for a zero. Whenever I am seeing a zero from here, it will wait for a one zero. And what about this state? From Q three, Q three will accept the set of all strings ending with one one. Okay. So from Q three, if I am seeing a zero, if I am seeing a zero, it should wait for a one one. Then only zero one one. It will end with one one. And what about one? If I am putting a self loop one here, this will also end with any number of ones. That will also end with one one. Okay, so this is a complete automata for the given problem. Then how to draw the transition table for the Mori machine? Normally we are showing the transition, uh, showing the states and the input symbols Q zero while seeing zero, Q zero while seeing zero, it is moving to state Q zero. Q zero while seeing one, it is moving to Q one. Q zero while seeing one, it is moving to Q one. So normally, how you are drawing the state transition table for DFA and F etc. Same thing. Only we are adding one more column that is output alphabet. Q zero it will output C. Q one it will output C. Q two will output A. Q three will output B. Q zero output is C. Q zero the output is C. Q one the output is C. Q two Output is A, Q three B. Okay, so now this this is same like DFA. How you are drawing the state transition table of DFA. The only thing is you need to add the output alphabet. If from Q zero it will produce us output C. From Q one it produces output C. Q two it produces output A, and Q three it produces output B. Okay. So whenever you are getting a problem, you need to draw the state transition table as well as the state transition diagram for all the problems.